Okay, we're going to have a slight introduction to Hoot's Ranger Diagnosis at a V6 engine. Hi, I'm Hoot. Now, we could go to the rough idle at cold starts only, which is the problem in my case with a leaky head gasket at the rear. These head gaskets, as you can probably see, I kind of got their spots to where they leak the coolant into the cylinder overnight. And then in the morning, when you go to start it, it files your plugs out until it warms up. Now you can take the plugs out and warm them up, and they'll be good until the next day. But what's happening is it's leaking coolant in here at the rear of the cylinder, both at the rear, both sides. You can relieve the pressure on your radiator at night to help it out until you get time to fix it, or you can fix it. But now we got another problem with the overheating only at an idle or low RP. And to find out that the impeller, as you can see, was gone. There is no impeller on this thing, and it's only 70,000 miles old. It was a store bought at the auto store, and it only lasted less than three years. And that, as long as you raced it up, you was doing good. But otherwise, your temperature is going to exceed way up to the height. And then we also have a problem with the discontinued intake heater hoses. It's not needed. And I'm going to show you what I did to prevent this right now. Now these two hoses is going to go into your heater, as you can see. And these small ones, I'm going to take you out to the truck and I'm going to show you where these small ones go to. Now, all these things do is heat you. All these things do is heat up your throttle by there. And it's not needed unless you're planning on going to Alaska. So let's go out here for a minute. To the palms here. And let's see, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the 98 Ranger. And as you can see, one of my tubes is broke off right here. And they do not sell that tube. You have to buy this whole thing, which is very costly. Probably $300. But what I have done, took them two heater hoses, and basically I made straight right back to where they started from. But they did not tee off from here over to here. This is unnecessary. This is totally unnecessary. Okay. If, if they would sell these replacements, I'd say replace them. Because they come out, they're pressed in at the factory, and if you can't change them, what good is it? Anyways, this is being Hoot's repair. Okay, this is being Hoot's diagnosis, and look for further info on repairs on Rangers four and six cylinders. Thank you. Goodbye.